Dr. Burak. Hello. Uh, welcome back to Romania. Thank you. Uh, we are happy to have you here for the second time uh, for our usual pre-hair implant uh, consultations. Uh, we have some questions for you. And the first one will be, how did the hair implant become one of the most requested intervention in Turkey? Thank you. I'm so happy to be here together with you, especially to see the uh, Romanian people. I will give brief information about the history of hair transplantation in Turkey. As an esteward, we perform hair transplantation operations more than 25 years with well-experienced team. We are the first aesthetic hospital group which doing this treatment for our patients. And uh, um, in this time, in 25 years, maybe more than 300,000 operations we perform. The most important thing is experience in these operations because if you do too much operations, you know the anatomy and physiology of different patients. So uh, this is the important part. And in these 25 years, we have uh, lots of clients, lots of patients, then they know us as a hair transplant country because it's so popular in Turkey right now. Uh, we know that there is a lot of competition in Turkey when it comes to hair implant costs. Uh, what would you su suggest to the patients uh, to pay attention, especially when they want to make such a decision? Yeah, especially this is so important part because uh, I uh, heard lots of uh, price about that. But unfortunately, in Turkey, there are good clinics, but also there are underground black market clinics also perform hair transplantation. Patient has to focus. It has to be in hospital. It has to be experienced team. It has to be under control of doctor. But uh, as I said, unfortunately, there are lots of black market clinic. They are not doctors. They don't perform the surgeries in hospitals and they uh, give the lowest price. But you know, the quality is uh, has price. So I recommend to our patients, the most important thing, this is your health. You have to protect your health. And if you want to get hair transplantation, you can get maybe one, maximum two times in your life. That is really good advice. Uh, can you briefly tell us the process of this intervention? Sure. I want to give, especially at the beginning, at the beginning we use uh, FUT technique. We take a flap from back of the patient head, then we implant from this flap to the this graft. But uh, it was 25 years ago especially. Nowadays we use FUE technique. It means that follicular unit extraction. We take all graft by one by and we can have the most and the uh, increased number with this technique. Okay. So also we use DHI technique. It's uh, the similar when we are taking graft from back of patient head. We are using with FUE taking by one by. But the last one, the implanting part is different with Safir and DHI. In the Safir part, we have two more parts. We first, we open channels, the holes. After that, we implant this graft to this holes. In the DHI technique, direct near implantation. After we taking graft, we implant this graft directly with special pen called Choi. We recommend our patient which one he or she needs, Safir or DHI. Is it a painful intervention? Because most of our patients are afraid about this. This is the frequently asked question especially. Of course, I'm doctor, but I also want to get pain. Uh, so uh, we apply our operations under sedation. So our uh, team com consists of also an anesthesia specialist. Sedation means that it's type of anesthesia and between local anesthesia and general anesthesia, our patient at the beginning of the operation uh, sleep 10 minutes with sedation. In this period, we apply local anesthesia to not feel any pain. And it takes almost six to eight hours. And it, during the operation, the patient not feel any pain. And if you want to get with sedation, there will, there will be anesthesia specialist, a doctor, and it has to be under hospital. There is still a misunderstanding regarding the number of grafts and the number of implanted hair. Can you clarify this aspect for us? Please? Sure. Uh, graft means, uh, I can say like that, you know, one graft can have two, three, four hair follicles, okay? So when we implant 
for example 3000 hair graft it means that almost 8000 or 10,000 hair follicles. Our aim is to make maximum graft operation. So we take maximum graft from back of patient head. Of course, we have to be careful because after operation, there won't be any empty spot. And uh, to get natural results, we, there is some important point we have to be careful. The first one, Operation has three stages. First, we take graft. When we are taking graft, we have to be careful about the back area because after operation, uh, there won't be any scar, any empty area. And the second part, opening channels. This is the aesthetic part of the operation. We have to be careful of the angle, density, and direction of the channels. If you're careful about that, Every, uh, one year later, nobody can understand you got hair transplantation before. The last part, implanting to these grafts. We have to be kind of this graft because they are living uh, tissues. So if you disrupt, if you uh, problem on this graft, doesn't matter you implant, it won't be grow. Because patient ask us, uh, is it possible to grow every hair follicles? Yet, yes, can be grow but all these three parts has to be carefully performed in the operation time. What advice do you have for the patients who are interested in such an intervention? Do they have to come early in their stage? Of course, I always say to my patient, uh, sometimes they said to me, uh, doctor, I will wait uh, to end of the hair loss, then I will come. No, it's a wrong decision especially. We have to protect our current hair and there is some ways. There are some ways to protect it, like uh, some hair treatments called hair laser, stem cell or exosomes. With this treatment, our aim is to protect current hair and take maximum grafts from back of patient head. Uh, because of that, uh, if you do earlier your hair transplant operation, you can have earlier uh, good hairs and you can protect your donor also. That's very good information. Thank you so much for your time here and we are looking forward to welcome you back soon. Thank you so much. I want to add last things. Uh, day by day with technology, the transplantation is uh, upgrading and nowadays we apply mainly stem cells together with a hair transplantation. It also good effect on hair transplantation. It decreases the healing time, it feeds current hair with that, it get thicker the current hair and also it feeds the new hair. I generally recommend our patient to get together with stem cell. And also sedation is important part. The last of the things, DHI method is the latest method. Compare with Safir, it is both good, but we can mix it while we can apply just DHI or just Safir. Uh, the specialist will recommend which one is better for you. Thank you so much for hosting me. Thank you.